Hi, I'm James and I make stuff with Unity. One of the things I'm making at the moment is Rogue Realms, a game available on Steam. If you're interested, I'd really appreciate wishlisting it and checking out my devlogs. But today I'm here to show you how to add an indicator bar to when you're downloading files. It isn't very useful on the Unity site exactly how to do this in the scripting guide. There's no examples, so I thought I would make one because I needed because I needed to do that for one of my projects. So starting off, I'm going to grab a UI and I'm going to place an image. I'm going to make this image the entire size of the UI. And I'm going to make this the background. And I want my background to be black. Next, I'm going to duplicate this. This is going to be the frame of my indicator. I'm going to make my frame of my indicator white. Next, I'm going to duplicate again. And this time is going to be the indicator background. Now I'm going to duplicate it once more. This is going to be the actual indicator. Now to be able to move this left and right, I'm going to need to put a sprite in here. So I'm going to go to Window, Package Manager, Unity Registry, and look up Sprite. And I'm just going to install the 2D Sprite Package. Next I'll make a folder for my sprites. I'm just going to make a square sprite in here. And then I'm going to drag the square sprite into the indicator and you'll see some new options appear for the image type. I'm going to make it filled. I'm going to add horizontal. And now as you can see I've got a little indicator. So that's the setup for the scene. So now let's write the code. So add a script folder. Add a folder for the scripts. Create a script. I'm just going to call it download file. So let's open this in Visual Studio. Firstly, you're going to need a couple of libraries. You're going to need Unity Engine networking for downloading the file and you're going to need unity engine.ui for the image first of all I'm just going to make a reference to the image so that we can adjust the value of the fill and we don't need the update function Download a file, you go public iEnumerator, and I'm going to just call it download, and I'm going to send it a URL. So, that first of all, you create a Unity web request. I'm just going to call it www, and we're going to use get. And we're just going to get the URL. Now usually here you'd go something like yield return www.send web request. But for this to be able to make the indicator work, we're not going to yield. We're just going to call or send web request. We need to do this because once you hit yield, it waits until the download is complete. So at that point, there's no way to tell what percentage is done. Now here's the trick, you go while not www.isdone, so this loop will run while the file hasn't downloaded. So I'm, as well as updating the progress bar, I'm also just going to debug a log so you, we can actually see the percentage.
download progress is between 0 and 1 so I'm multiplying it by 100 to get a percentage and then just turning it into an integer so we get a whole number. Now let's update the indicator so that it slides across on the fill amount. So image indicator dot fill amount and we can just make the fill amount equal to download progress because that's a number between 0 and 1. And now just yield return null because we're running the loop so there's no need to stop. Now I'm just going to outside this loop set the fill amount to 1 because if it goes to done and it's complete it won't actually run in here so we just want to if it's finished set the fill amount to 100%. Finally we want to print out an error if the web request isn't successful. And then here we'll just debug the error. And else, this is where your file has been successful. And here you would just do something with your file. And the final thing you want to do www.dispose so that you don't end up with any memory link. Now to call this function, you go start. A routine now you obviously need to replace this URL with whatever file you want I'm going to replace it with a, diff with a URL that I know works I'm not going to do that on screen so that we don't get everybody slamming that URL when they're testing but I'll change it to something so that when we run it it actually shows that it's working now let's drop our download script here, drop the image here, let's just go to the console and let's press play and see how this goes. You can see the percentage going up here and the indicator bar going across. I picked quite a large file just so that you can see that it actually works. And that's how you do a progress bar when you're downloading a file in Unity. I know it's a bit of a niche topic, but I'm sure some people will find it interesting and useful because I found that the documentation wasn't that great for it. Let me know if there's any other particular tutorials you want. And here are all my links in case you want to follow me on social media or join my Discord and come and talk to me. I hope you're enjoying your game development.